If you're anything like me, aka a student, aka a college student, aka in distress, summer is coming to an end. School literally starts next week. And if you're anything like me, you did nothing this summer. So yeah, I came to the conclusion that summer is not over yet and we're gonna be doing a bunch of fun summery activities. So where I'm from, a small stupid town that the closest store slash Target slash Walmart slash anything is located 20 minutes away. And do you know the price of gas recently? Yeah, unfortunately, I do have to stay in my small town and get creative. So we need to come up with some ideas via the internet. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you have social media, Instagram, TikTok, whatever else the kids use these days. Pinterest is the main form of ways where I get my creative abilities. So we're gonna go to Pinterest to find some fun creative ideas. Luckily for me, I prepared months in advance. I have a board called Summer. I have pictures of fun, cute, aesthetic activities to do this summer. We're just gonna look through this and see what we got. So the first thing I'm seeing is a puzzle. Okay. The picture right next to it is a few friends at a picnic. Unfortunately, we don't have friends here in this household. So that's not really an option, but I do have a blanket and I do have food. So a picnic is possible. I'm not hiking today. I'm not doing it. Okay, here I see some girls who are painting. Um, I love painting. So that is definitely an activity we're gonna have to fulfill today. What else do we got? Some more paintings, more picnics, art gallery. Like I said, small town, don't have this luxury. Um, skateboarding. Unfortunately, I don't have a skateboard, but that is a cool idea for any of you out there who do have a skateboard. Camping, no. Fruit. We could get some fruit today. Fun pictures of people with their friends. Um, do not have those, so that makes me upset. A book? I see a book. Another book? Okay. Cartwheels. Maybe I could do a cartwheel. Um, fun fact, I used to cheer when I was in the second grade. So maybe I'll have to bring that back. So I am getting some ideas through Pinterest, but I think we need to do some further research on this topic because I want to have a fun rest of the summer. Because what else is there to do? Wait around until 9am on Monday and go to class? That's not me. In the summer alone. Okay, perfect. 30 things to do in the summer by yourself. <laughs> That's us. Catch some rays. Um, if you look outside, it is kind of cloudy, but we'll have to check the UV. Exercise outdoors. That sounds like a great option considering I'm already in my exercise attire. Ow. I say, let's go. out here in the wilderness all right I am in fact back from my little exercise activity so I think the next thing on my list that I'm going to do is catch some rays I want to allude to my classmates that I have gone to the beach this summer gone on vacay and that I am a little crispy I don't really feel like changing so this is going to be what we're going to be sunbathing in. I guess we should just go to it, shouldn't we? See, it is a little cloudy outside. The UV is 8. 
that is perfect UV for catching some rays, if I do say so myself. Let's go fake my classmates out and pretend that I just hung out in the sun all summer long, even though in reality I did the complete opposite and um, worked every single day of my life and complained about the hot weather. The only difficult part about this task is that I am very impatient and if I don't get tan within the next 10 minutes, I'm going to be leaving. I know that I literally said five seconds ago how I was too lazy to change to my bathing suit. What is that thing? Oh my God. I can't believe I forgot that I legitimately have a pool and that is a summary activity to do. So why would I let this nice, beautiful, gorgeous summer day go to waste without swimming? And I'm killing three birds, one stone, sunbathing outside in the pool, swimming, and I'm gonna be reading outdoors because that is also another activity that was recommended to me thanks to Pinterest and this really goofy website. Isn't this mini soda so cute? So now that we have successfully done four summer activities, exercising outside, catching some rays, reading, and swimming. I decided since we've been a little active, a little too active for me, we're gonna slow it down, chill, zone out, and paint. This just so happens to be one of my favorite activities to do in the world. I'm actually gonna start off by showing you some of my work that I've done. Um, just for fun, just so we know a little bit of what we're getting into. Um, so yeah, this is my sketchbook. I like to paint on canvases, so I'm gonna have to show you my canvas art wall over there. But for now, I'm showing you my sketchbook. Uh, this only has two items in it because this is a watercolor sketchbook. And when I was in high school, I hated watercolors so much. They were like actually so hard for me. So I wanted to try watercolor again. That's what we're gonna be doing today because I'm challenging myself. This is my first watercolor project that I tried. It is a portrait of myself. She looks way prettier than I do. Yeah, this is one. And then this one is really not the greatest. So it's a picture of a girl behind a computer screen and it says this is exhausting and her eyes are like literally purple, way too purple. This was an experiment. And then I'm gonna show you my wall because I'm feeling vulnerable today. I'm not gonna show you all my art pieces. This is just a general overview of them. So that's all you're getting. Today I think I'm gonna do... I don't know. I'm gonna look at Pinterest for some inspiration. This picture is standing out to me. It's literally just a picture of an eye, but I'm gonna literally just replicate this same exact picture. So credit to this artist. Whenever I create, I start off by drawing an outline with like a pencil. I don't have like a fancy pencil. This is just the only pencil I own. Fun little fact about me, um, when I first got into like art or whatever. I would only draw eyes. Um, I don't know if I have any of my sketchbooks here. I really enjoy drawing pictures of people instead of like objects. My favorite thing is to draw eyes or like facial features. Let's see what I got. I'm just gonna skip because this is gonna take a while, so. close as I'm gonna get to that picture um if I'm being honest I'm kind of tired now like I don't do this much in a day normally so yeah this is my final picture 
watercolors are not my forte but I like them and I want to get better at them so one step in a new direction okay now that I'm feeling a little tired I think the next step for me is to have a picnic um it is way past lunchtime it is 2 30 and I'm hungry girls got to eat something so let's go have a picnic Welcome to my picnic. Um, on the menu, we have a turkey sandwich, and that is it. Um, I know on Pinterest, it said to go pick some fruit. Strawberry season is over, and I don't really feel like going to a farm, even though I'm surrounded by them in my small town. So here we are. This is my picnic. Honestly, having a blast. Sorry for all of you guys, but I... I'm an iPad kid at heart, and in order to function or eat anything, I need to watch a video. So, before I could start our little picnic, I'm gonna have to pull up a video here, and then we could get eating. Alright, those were all the fun summer activities I had planned for us today. Enjoy summer while it still lasts. The little bit of summer that we have left. And did I say thank you for watching? Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video.